Right, we like driving our car forwards, don't we, Tyler? It mm. goes well forwards, but sometimes we drive it backwards, as many people do. And when you drive it backwards, you get these little lights that come on, and they're, they're kind of in here. Now, there's a couple of problems with them. One, there's just not... They've got white LEDs, and they're quite bright, but they put them in this sort of box, and it's a little tunnel, so it's hard to see down. Now, the, the reversing camera's under here, so the reversing camera seems not to be able to see a lot of the light distributed from... So I have gone and designed and fitted, with Tyler's help, some super tricky LED high power lights here that are lower down than these and seem to give a better display of light when you're reversing. Now, at the end of the video, we will do a test and I'll get Gary or someone to come in and we'll, we'll sort of cover and uncover so you can see the difference you get in dark conditions. So we are going to show you how to fit this kit. Right, before we do that, Tyler, let's put them on and have a quick look and then we'll go through what you get and how to fit them. Right. So, with this side we haven't done yet. This side we have done. So Tyler's going to start it up for us. So there we go. And there you go, you can see the brake. Uh, and, and obviously there you go, so you've got the difference in brightness there between those two. That's the standard one, and that's our one there. Right, okay, turn that off, Tyler. Right, so there we go, so there you can see where it is. Now, in addition to fitting the reverse light, I took the opportunity to colour this bit, paint this bit black. It's not a great bit of paintwork, I did it quickly. But I, I'm trying to lose the silver off the car. And you'll notice, and you'll see, because we're going to show you with fitting it, you take these bits out here. So if you want, you could additionally colour code them at the same time. Right, what have we got going on here? So what have we put together in the kit? We have put together... <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll start with these. These white plastic clips, so... If you've watched any of these videos on the Defender, you'll know everything's held in with these white plastic clips. So we've, and a couple of them are likely to break. So we'll throw in actually four. So what we're actually showing you here is half the kit. The other half is on the car. So you'll get four of those. And then some butt splices again. Some of you will go, ah, we should solder. But we'll put the butt splices in. If you want to solder, that's fine. Some screws for fixing the light on. Now these are laser cut panels we've this designed julian's design that go in so they create a a cavity filler there to locate this light so the idea of this light is we are going to fit it and it shouldn't impact your warranty and if your car's a lease car then you should be able to take these out and it should be all back to factory standard without any holes so that's the plan so they should give a mount for the light and then Tyler's just, yeah, whip that out. And that is the LED lights there. Um, so they're almost surface mount. But you've got to create, we've had to create the mounting to take that little rear, whatever we call that, little rear sticky out bit there. Right. No further ado, let's get going, shall we, Tyler? So, Tyler's worked this out, actually. He came up with a better method than I did. What are you going for first? Got to get this off. Right, so these rear corners, we've got the checker plate one on here, you can see. Yours will probably be body colour, so we've had these off several times. They're a little bit of a pig, but not too bad, are they, Tyler? No, I think they get worse the more they come off and on, though. I reckon they get worse, not... Yeah. Right, go on then. Yeah. So we did a separate video of taking these off when they were new, and I'll, I'll put the link for that up there. But basically, you've got to get in. And we're trying to take the panel off straight backwards. You want to just watch your paint a bit. Not if it's not your cup, you don't have to worry about it too much, eh, Tom? <laughs> no, I never worry about it. Right. Now, you see, we've pulled those off. We'll have a look at the clips. It can get a bit tight at the bottom because there's a little sort of lip on this. But if you yeah. did like Tyler did, if you lift it up there and sort of take that last bit up. So you've got a series of these clips here. You see these white clips. Now... Tyler, you've done this with some skill, buddy, because you've got one, two, three. Oh, we've lost one there. Oh, we've lost another there. Look at that. Fine we've lost two. You see that? that you... <laughs> now, you will probably find the clips don't always break. They normally just sort of 
Sometimes they'll have stayed in the little slots on here and sometimes they just disappear. Every time we sweep the floor, we find one. Right. So what we're trying to get to is we're trying to get to the rear. Oh, Tyler. One thing we didn't show them was the looms. We'll have to show them the looms that come with the kit. Right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Let's get this out here. So the next thing we need to do is take this panel. Now, it's four clips. So the, the, the white bit, which is obviously body color, so the, the whatever color your car is, and this silver bit come out together. There's, there's two panels. Let me, while Tyler gets the grips with that, I've got one, I've got one here. And they've got these four clips on the back. One, two at the top, and two at the bottom. Now the, the trouble is, if you just try and pull them off, the bumper's quite flexible. So you really need to get something between the bumper and, yeah. and, and sort of give out a twist, isn't it, Tyler? Sort of that's it, because you need to, whee, and then it will pop out. So what they've actually done, Lander, is they've given you that little silver bit, and as I say, I don't like that silver. And this top white panel, or body color panel, is just held on with double-sided tape. Actually, just separate those two, Tyler. We'll stick it back on, but just to show people if they want to, you can just sort of rip, rip that off. So it's only taped on that panel anyway. Um, so if you want to paint this bit black and leave that body color, it's quite easy to do. Right, so we are gonna, we'll paint that black before we put it all back together. Right, now what we're looking for here is let me just grab a bit more, let me just grab a bit more light, Tyler. Do you want to grab the torch? Look at that, trick use of those new tow hooks. Look, Tyler, holds the torch like a dream. There you go, right. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it, yeah. New reverse lights, yeah, a battery thing. And look at that fit in there, absolutely sweet as well. There you go. Um, right, so what we're trying to get is the rear light connector for the rear lights, because we're going to put a little jumper loom in there. Now, I've coloured these bits in orange here, so you can see. And what you've got is those two little circles there is what's holding this rear connector loom together. So, and I've colored the side of the connector orange. So there you go, Tyler, if you wanna, that's the best way of wriggling that out. You just have to- just Pull it. Or push it backwards. Get between it. I'm gonna say, can you get in a little screwdriver from that side? And okay. just, you could probably just push on those circles, Tyler. Yeah, I probably could have. Yeah, that, that might be another way of doing it. If you struggle, you can see these are straight through now. Yeah. And you can see the little orange tip. So you could just like <laughs> poke it in there. There's also this little wire that's in a... Oh, he's in a little there. sort of guide there. Yeah. So we want to get him out of that guide, do we? Yeah, just to give us a bit more. So that he goes up over the top yeah, there, yeah. Towards you. That's it. And that gives us just a bit more room. A little more wiggle okay. room, yeah. Right, so then have we got a little, have we got one of those little trick things. We've got a, to disconnect them. That's where the magic happens. Oh, so this is the thing of beauty, isn't it? Um, so how do we unclip them, Ty? We've got a little special secret button. Yeah, go on then. Give that a little, that's a push, that, is it? Go on, heave. There you go. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to put this little interposer loop and that's going to that's going to sit between those and it's going to send all the signals straight through other than it's going to tap into the ones we want. Now, I've done this loom. Tyler's done a little diagram here. So these are all the functions on the rear light. Let me see if my camera will focus on the screen. So the black is the earth, the green is the reverse. So these are the two we need. But I've also, we're gonna give you the loom with all of these. So if you wanna add additional brake lights or indicators or tail lights, you've got all those functions there you can tap into. Right, so, so there you go. Tyler's clipped it all together. So you've got male and female. So we've got that now. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna cut the ones we don't want off, but make sure when you cut them, Cut them at slightly different lengths. We'll do it now because if you cut them at all the same lengths, there's a danger they could they could sort of short together, being modelled by my lovely fingers here. Whereas if you cut them at different lengths, like that, I'm trying to get my fingers to work, um, then you can tape them up and there's no danger of them. Yeah, do you wanna? So leave the black and the green, and then that's it. And do them a little bit longer. Oh, little steps. Look. That ends don't intermingle. Yeah. Right. And then you see so you can tape that up and there's no chance of those shorting out with each other because that would be bad news. And it'll leave us with a pro looking loom with just the green and the black. Right. 
Right, so what we're going to try and do now is Tyler's take that all up nicely. We've just got the black and green, which we'll leave there. Um, we'll try and get this connector back on, and we'll try and get that bit of blue tape back over that hook in there. Let me move this light. Um, right, do you want to have a go at doing that, Tyler? How, how tricky is it going to be to get that? I'll get that blue bit over first, yeah. yeah. That's okay. it, he's all right, isn't he? Give him a yank down. That's it, so he's back in. And then have a go at getting those two. Now there's actually a massive cavity down behind that bumper to get rid of all our extra loomage and our extra connectors. You might have to get a little lever tool to squidge it back in. Just trying to get it back in those two holes there. Car's beeping. I think it doesn't <laughs> like you fertling with it, Tyler. It's feeling good. violated, mate. Quite rightly. Right, so that's back in. So there you go. I can see the little, the little middle. So that's all back in. Um, and then just tuck that other connector down a little bit more behind there. That all fits in behind there. That's not going to get in anyone's way at all. And what we're going to do is the this loom here is going to is going to go and, and connect to our reverse light. Right, we're going to go and paint that silver and white bit black. We're going to go and have some lunch, and we're going to come back and start showing you how to connect the light in. Right, we've had our lunch. Chicken noodle soup for me, Tyler. Cheesy tomato pasta. Cheesy tomato pasta. There we go. People aren't interested. <laughs> right then. Um, we have, with a spray can, painted that. I think you can do all right with a spray can. It's not too bad for where it is on the back there. Anyway, we've purged the silver. We've got that bit to purge yet, but we've purged more of the silver. A one-man mission against silverness. Right then, what are we going to do, Tyler? Let's, let's refit that bit back in, shall we? Now, we, now where's that? Where's that? You, you're trapping that cable. That cable's got to go over the top of it, isn't it? You know, around the side for now. You've got to line those little... You've got four little tabs to line up, and it should just... It's one of these things you're probably going to have to give it a bit of a, a whack. There we go. All in. Right, good, good. Um, right, now now you've got to get this in the right order. You have to stick this in next because if you do your solder in first, you can't get your soldered lamp um, through that hole. So it's easier to get your wire through that hole. But if you notice where we've got the cutout in the back, so the wire is going to come in from the front and then up the back and then round there. So we've got some self ready. So this will be two bits. I think Julian's going to stick them together for you, but you may get it unstuck together we'll try and stick it together but we've doubled it up to give you the thickness right then tyler so that's going to be stuck in there like so that. so the rounded bit is in the top corner and the round hole is to the outside of the car right then so they are handy now yeah it does come with a little protective oh, film over it that's nice and it comes off nicely i'll say it comes off nicely get the little um, and that's got the shiny finish, the same as the lights. It's got exactly the same gloss black finish as the lights. You can see how reflective that is there. Right then. So yeah, so if, you're, if your bit's dirty, give it a clean and a wipe because you're going to stick the adhesive pads onto it. Now we've got to make sure we get the wire. Oh, we could get the wire through later, can't we? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what the gap's for. Now you don't have to go all the way up to the edge, but you've got to get it fairly close to the... You've got a little bit of room. There we go, right. Um, right, yeah, okay, right, grab your light. Now, it has got a gasket with it. Tyler and I were debating whether to put the gasket on or not because this this all looks pretty waterproof. It's all a pretty... So I don't think keeping the water off. And then we were debating, well, it's going to stop the airflow over these fins. But I think just for neatness and to stop it rattling and just to have it all nested on, we're going to go for the... We're going to go for the... Neoprene gasket, aren't we? Like a sponge. Sponge. They won't let. Right then. Yeah. So you got to poke that up through, and it comes up through the little slot that Julian's put in there. And then the light should locate into the scent. Yeah, actually. Okay. Yeah, there's no way it can't go anywhere. Let me hold that there for you, Tyler. And then get your little stainless steel screws. should bite into that 
No need to do them over tight because there's a little bit of. If you do want the first one too tight, it sort of fights against that gasket right on that end, Tyler. It looks like he's just over a bit there, yeah? I, I might, you might have to get that one in a bit and loosen off that other one, I reckon. I'll have to just balance the gasket up. I reckon that first screw's too tight. Just back him off a little bit. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Now, now, it should, now you should better slide the gasket and get it all even. That's all. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, I thought it was the, the stickiness, but it, the no. whole panel is just a bit flexy there. When we've got it all in, it, it's out the way, it's fine. Right then. So now you've got to get those two there. So you've got to join the the, the two black wires together. Black to black is negative to negative. Colour to colour. Colour to colour. And we've got these little butt crimp splice things. So, right, you ready? Can you do that? Do you need hand with that, Tyler? What you got? Black to black first, because yep. it's harder to mess up. Yes, yes, because the other two are not colour coded, you're quite right. Come on, is he going to get it right first time? Hopefully. All right. Give it a little tug just to check his work. Yeah. yeah, and one little trick Tyler did was just to make it a bit thicker. He's doubled over the, 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 uh, he stripped back a little bit more, made a little double, which makes it they do grip a bit better that way. Yeah, the first attempt uh, didn't have that. And you can solder and heat shrink if you've got the know-how and the tools to do it. You can do whatever you like. Do whatever you like. Just don't come crying to us <laughs> if you do it wrong. I mean, it shouldn't. Again, it's not going to affect any of the main car wiring. It's, the worst that's going to happen is you're going to lose your auxiliary reverse light, so it's not of major importance. Right, so we just got to lose the excess wire down the back in behind that light. There's plenty of room, you just got to fiddle it all out of the way. That'll be out of the way. Yeah. Right, and then you want to make sure these two wires are just going nicely over the top because the trim is just going to sit against that. Right, final bit is, so that's all, that's all there. Now, I guess before you put that on, it would be worth testing it, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we're not going to, well, we will now, but I won't video it. So we're just going to test that, and then Tyler will put that back on. Then I think we're coming back and doing the... Ah, oh, actually, grab that panel there, Tyler. And let's, let's put those clips back on. Shall we replace those missing clips? Well, I've already done that. You've already done that? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so go on, show us then. So I think it's fairly straightforward. But yeah, those white clips that Tyler had popped off, and we're going to put spare ones in with the kit. Make sure you've got your one, two, three, four, five. And that's it, is it? Yeah. Yeah, go on, pop it on. Oh, now... You've got to get that bottom bit in in that corner first. And then you've got to line that location peg up. It's a bit of a... I'm getting a bit comfy sat down and I'm not getting a good video done. Yeah, you do have to take some time to guide those in. Right, we'll let Tyler do that. So there we go, that's the Defender rear lights all fitted. So that's that one all fitted there. You can see that in there. So hopefully you like that mod. We'll put it up for sale on the website. Um, right, let's jump in the car now and do the test and see how much extra light it actually gives on the reversing camera. Right, so we're going in the car, put it in reverse, and that's the image you can see. Now if you take your hands off, that's the image then with the extra reverse lights. Cover them over again. So that's just with your standard light. So you can see it gives a lot more light. Take them off again. You can see you can get much better light output there. You can really see when you're reversing. So there we go. 
Good luck with that.